Hi and welcome to this video of Bonaire Cruisers. In this video we will show you the route you can take up north to see all of Bonaire's highlights. From our location you take a left and follow the main road. Take the first exit to your left at the tourist office into the main shopping street called Gaia Grandi. In this street you will find most of our tourist shops. At the end of the street, follow the main road to the left. Continue this long road and you will pass by our harbor. You might see some flamingos at the lake to your right. Just before the roundabout, you can admire a lovely mural, the Wonders in the Deep it's called. If you take the third exit at the roundabout after that, you come at Cocoa Beach, a lovely place to snorkel or to stop for a drink or a snack. If you do not want to stop at Cocoa Beach, continue your journey and cross the roundabout straight. You are now in the area called Hato, and after the turn in the road at the end of it, you will drive through a natural area, very close to the west coast. The road will eventually make some sharp corners and you will pass the Sabadeco living area with beautiful million dollar villas. After this, the road will lead you back to the coast. As soon as you're almost at the coast, you can take the exit to a snorkel spot called Oil Slick Leap, a perfect place to jump in the water or go for a swim. When you leave Oil Slick Leap, keep on following the main coastal road. You are now on the touristic road, with the sea on your left and a rocky landscape on your right. This road will bring you to one of our famous snorkel spots, called Thousand Steps. Have a look at the amazing colors of the ocean, and you might even see a turtle coming up for air at this overview point. A little further after Thousand Steps, you will find a parking spot on your right. If you stop here, there is a staircase at the coastal line that will lead you to a spectacular view of the coastline. Try to figure out why this place is called the wedding bench. At Thousand Steps and at the wedding bench, you have an option to turn and go back into town. After this point, it will only be a one-way street. The remaining of your journey will take about one and a half hours till two hours, so mind your time. So if you decide to continue this road, you will enter the one-way zone and pass other famous sites such as Carpata. Here you can still see the remainings of an old aloe vera factory. After this spot, you will come at a crossing. Keep on following the coastal road in the direction of the oil reservoirs and you are on track to go to Goto Lake. At this lake, you will have a chance to see flamingos. Bonaire is one of the few places on earth where these magical creatures breathe. You can stop at the panoramic point view and have a stunning view of Gojo Lake, which consists out of brackish water, making it perfect for the flamingos. If you look out in the distance from this point, you can see our highest mountain, the Brondares. With an altitude of 795 feet, it may not be much to most, but we are proud of our little mountain. Please be aware that it's not allowed to enter the wetlands or disturb the flamingos. Follow the main road downwards and you get to drive very close to the water and spot the flamingos up close. Eventually you will leave the lake area to be surrounded by many trees and cactuses on your left and right. After this forest area, the road goes up and you can stop at another panoramic viewpoint a restaurant called Posada por Amira. If you drive downhill after that, you will enter Rincon. Rincon is the oldest settlement in Bonaire and all of the Caribbean. In Rincon, a place you should not miss is the Kadushi Distillery. Follow the signs and get to experience something new. It's the experience of drinking a cacti. The entrance is free. At this distillery, they will welcome you with some free samples, you can get a tour of how they make their different liquors, and after that you can have a drink at the bar and sit at their lovely area. Want to go on with your journey? Follow the road to your right until you get at a crossing, where you take the left turn. The next turn you take a right till you get at a fork, where you take the left turn. 
you go straight on in the direction of Kralendijk. After half a mile, you can visit the cultural park called Magazina di Rai on your left side. In the old days, the slaves would walk all the way from the salt pans to the storehouse to get their provisions. After you visited Magazina di Rai, you will go left and keep on following this long main road. You will see the east coast of Bonaire, where waves are regularly crashing against the coastline. Admire our landscape while you drive up and down on the hills to get back in town. After several miles, you get to see a crossing to your right, just after a simple soccer field. The sign on that crossing says Seru Largo. You can decide to continue the main road to Kralendijk, but if you want to experience a truly amazing view over our capital and south of Bonaire, take the exit to Serra Largo. Follow the steep road uphill till you get to a fork in the road. The road to your right will lead you downwards. The one to your left brings you to the amazing panorama view. You can park at several points along the circle road on this hill. Can you spot your cruise ship? It's hard to miss. If you keep on following the circle road, you will eventually arrive at a crossing that leads you downtown. Take the exit to your left, downwards, in the direction of your cruise ship. On the first crossing, where you get to see the houses again, take a left. At the second crossing, take a right and keep on following this main road. After a while, you will arrive at a fork in the road, just before a turquoise painted house. Take the road to your right downhill. This street is called Gaia Inca. At the end of this street, you will arrive at a crossing. Again, take the road to your right. A little uphill. Keep on following this road and you will eventually get to the roundabout, where the large underwater mural is located. Take the third exit this time and you will be on the main road you started your adventure on. If you want to enjoy more stunning views of the ocean, turn the second street right after the harbor and do a canta di agua, meaning along the waterside, a thing locals love to do every day. You have the sailing boats on your right and a lot of restaurants on your left. This road will bring you back to the city center. Depending on where your cruise ship is moored, you have to take a different route. If it's moored at the south pier, you can follow the road and take the last left turn before the blockade and you will return to Bonaire Cruisers. If it's moored at the North Pier, you take a left before the blockade, go left again, then take a right turn, another right turn and finally a left turn to come to us at Bonaire Cruisers.